Okay, guys, guys, just gather around for me, please. Um, look, boys, there's no easy way to say this. You've, you've got to be better. You've just got to be better. I didn't come to Japan to be embarrassed. I came here for the money and also to win, but I get paid a lot more here than I did in Europe. Now, I know that you guys can do it. I think you can anyway. I've seen you play well on occasion. When we are playing well, we score runs and we don't concede very many. Now, what I think might be beneficial for us is if we come together as a team, the hitters and the pitchers have a conversation and decide which games they're going to play well in. There's no point the pitchers keeping the opposition to two runs if the batters aren't going to score any. And there's no point the batters scoring 10 if the pitchers are going to give up 12. Let's play well at the same time and we'll win games. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to episode 3 at the Nippon Ham Fighters in the Baseball Journeyman. We're on the Baseball Journeyman and today we are playing... Who are we playing today? We are playing uh, Tohika... I can't pronounce the name anyway. This team up here, if you can read that. <laughs> um, yeah, we're playing them today and we have a little bit to catch you up on. I'll try and do it a little bit quicker than yesterday's or last episode because that was a little bit too long. Uh, but... To start with, we have got our uh, mid-season review. Now, of course, it's mid-season in Japan. That doesn't obviously mean it's mid-season for us. We've had the All-Star break or the All-Star game. There was no break. Um, and basically, a quick review here. Uh, team performance is not good enough, um, but uh, it's not all our fault, obviously. We came in mid-season. Uh, they want to see an upgrade at second base, which we haven't really done yet. Uh, they want to see more stolen bases, which... We could maybe do a little bit better, but I don't think we're doing too bad. I mean, we don't have base runners. You can't still, <laughs> we can't steal bases when we don't get to first. Uh, we increased the attendance, which is nice. Um, and during our time together, the owner is ecstatic with the progress that we've made towards the goals. Now, if we have a quick look at what those goals are, as a reminder, uh, play close to 500 ball, which we're not doing, to be honest, at 369. But we're... It has improved a little bit since we took over, which is something. Improve at second base, which, to be honest, we haven't done. Um, stolen bases, we're still six. But we were six last season. We have uh, currently improved the attendance, even though we're not quite where we need to be just yet. And build a team to reach the playoffs is obviously the long-term goal. But I think, crucially, um, our owner is 70, but uh, he is happy. He's delighted, as a matter of fact, with how things are going. So... Um, that's obviously good. He's lenient as well, so he may give us a little bit of a pull. Hopefully, he'll give us a pass this season to make sure that we can go and uh, and achieve what he wants us to achieve. Now, let's have a quick look here. Other things that have happened. There has been the All-Star game. That's maybe the best place to start. Uh, we did have some All-Stars. The final voting results here. Um, we did have our first baseman, Kia Maeya. Uh, <laughs> he was second in voting for first baseman. Um, there was nothing else, though, for us. You have to go all the way down to pitchers. Um, and then you will see that we have uh, Kikuchi, the leaky faucet. Uh, he was second in voting there. And in the bullpen, Ishikawa uh, was third in voting there. So if we have a quick look at the teams that were announced, uh, there was three... Um, there was three, uh, what do we call it, ham fighters in there, and they were the three you'd expect, Kikuchi, uh, Ishikawa, and our first baseman. Uh, I'll give it a quick pause there, if you will, give it a quick pause if you want to have a little bit longer look at who everybody else is that got called up from our division. If we go down to the central division, um, you can see everybody that got called up there as well. Say as Suzuki. Now, you may remember him all the way back in the New York Mets uh, series. That was last F uh, last FM, last out of the park base, out of the park baseball 20. Uh, he was a decent player for our, our Mets. Uh, um, but he's he's uh, still here in Japan in this particular um, universe of baseball. Uh, no, I want to go back down again. Um, so you can see everybody else there. No legend, though. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming legend may have been a, uh, a generated player. Uh, but that is, that is how that all kind of shaped up. Uh, and the actual All-Star game itself, uh, if we go and have a look here, it was this one. Our boys really didn't didn't take part. Our league won the game, which is good. 11 hits to two as well. Uh, if we have a quick look here, our first baseman came in, he pinched hit, and it looks like he struck out. So that's <laughs> yeah, not the best performance from him. And our pitchers, they didn't, they did what they weren't involved. Uh, they got the afternoon off. So that's a little bit disappointing, but uh, at least they're fresh for us. Um, which is absolutely fine. Now, let's go and have a quick look back at the home screen, switch things back over to, to us. And you can see, um, yeah, I mean, we we have had one major injury, uh, which is a big disappointment. That is to Jose. He is out seven months with a torn rotator cuff. Now, that could that could affect him long term, couldn't it? So we'll wait and see how he comes back for next season. Um, he's not on the biggest money, so if it doesn't work out, he's got arbitration. We can always just look to ditch him. Um, but it's obviously a big, big shame uh, that we've lost him for such a long period of time. 
Uh, and otherwise, it's not been too much. There has, uh, have we made any changes? I'm sort of getting a little bit of a better idea around the lineup as to exactly what we want to try and do. Um, pitching changes, we've moved uh, Benninghoff back into the bullpen. You can see 0 and 3 with an ERA of just over 5. So we're going to try him in the bullpen. We've brought Matt Clark back into the starting rotation. Uh, and he was okay before we got here anyway. A quick look at how the schedule has gone. Now we left off. Where do we leave off? Against Yokohama, wasn't it? A 2-0 win, a loss, sorry, last time out. Then we played this team. Uh, we won the first game, which was brilliant. We lost the second one. Again, a tight game. Uh, I do find it a little bit frustrating. The bats and the balls don't seem to uh, have the same good days. And then game three here, we lost it in 10, but we actually let them back in in the ninth and then lost it in the 10th. And that is always infuriating. To be fair, we got our runs in the first innings and we took the rest of the afternoon off. So, <laughs> uh, you know, we maybe had it coming. Um... But if you look here, it was a Benninghoff start. He did okay in this one, really. Four innings, one earned run. Uh, but it was Clark who was in momentarily for that when Jose got injured. Uh, he came in and blew it for us. So that's obviously very, very disappointing. Uh, though, again, only one earned run. Another of the earned runs was an, uh, another of the runs was an error, which is... Ugh, errors are killing us. Then we played SB. I'm not quite sure who SB is. Might be Fukushima looking at my notes here. We won game one, which was brilliant. Uh, and then this was the best team in the league, I think. Um... And then game two was, yeah, a little bit of a crash back to earth. And, uh, no, it's not the best team in the league. But, but yeah, a little bit of a crash back to earth in this one. 14 to 2. But we did have 12 hits. Again, you can see two errors. But the star with this one was Hirata, who went 4 for 4. Um... Yeah, we just weren't getting our hits at the right time. And uh, Futaki, who was so good last episode, uh, he came back to earth in this one with a big, big bang. 2.1 innings, 8 turn runs, 9 in total. So, um... Yeah, not fantastic. You can see three, two, and six runs in those first three innings. So that was disappointing. Um, then we had another break. Then we played uh, this Chibita team. Um, game one here. This was the seldom seen bad day at the office for Kikuchi. Uh, six earned runs in his five innings. So that was, again, obviously very disappointing. Um, on a good day for him, we scored three runs. That's that's usually enough. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, Kikuchi did have a bad day on this occasion. And we lost game two in the series as well. Um, so we got a little bit of a two-game sweep there. Then we played, and this is the best team in our league. We came back. We won. Sorry, we lost game one. Uh, but again, this was a, a Hoff start. Now, they got five runs in the first. Am I looking at, my, at the right notes here? But Hoff only gave up two earned runs. So again, it was errors that killed us. Um... So that was obviously disappointing, but we can't complain. We had two hits all game. Um, so, you know, when you give up five in the first innings, albeit with an error in there, and then don't get hits all game, it's going to be tough. Um, so that was disappointing. But then we came back and we beat them, uh, which was really, really good. We beat them in extra innings as well, which was nice. Uh, the star in this one, for the, with the bat anyway, was Kondo, who went three for three with two RBIs. Uh, you can see a lot of the RBIs coming at the bottom of the order, which was nice to see. Um... And pitching side of things, Arihara got the start, three earned runs. He's, he's getting the start today. And then the bullpen did a really, really good job to close it out for us, which was brilliant. Uh, and then we played uh, this team, who we swept, two of two, which is brilliant. Uh, in game one here, it was a walk-off home run. We got the runs late, but a walk-off home run in the ninth by our first baseman, Kia uh, Mia, um, which is absolutely brilliant. 23 home runs, look at that compared to the rest of the team, and 58 RBIs. He is leading the way for us. Um... He just, if he could bat a little bit more consistently, a little bit higher average than the 253, he would really be a big, uh, big weapon for us. Uh, but that was good. And then we won game two as well, which was absolutely brilliant. Uh, then we lost game one of this series six to one. Not brilliant. Uh, we have game two today with a chance for a little bit of revenge. Let's have a quick look at what that all means for the standings. Um, we are where we are. Four and six the last uh, the last ten of we've won five of twelve in the last, since last episode and that's over twelve games uh, obviously um, so yeah it's not great we're the worst team in the league by what six games um, I don't know what to say <laughs> bring on next season so let's have a quick look at everybody's stats here for the season you can see them there it is pitching stats. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just, as I said, we're still trying to get an idea of who we want to keep, who we don't. If you have any suggestions on that, then let me know. Obviously, Kikuchi we'd like to keep, um, and there's a few in the bullpen we'd like to keep as well. Ishikawa, obviously, we'd like to keep if we can. Um, 
and a few others there, but yeah, it's just a little bit... Pitching isn't the problem, to be honest. It's the batting that's the problem. We need a new catcher. Uh, Mishi Mure here, he was batting over 300 when we took over. He's been a shambles, and well, Shimizu is just not... He's just not a baseballer, is he, unfortunately? Um, well, certainly a catcher. Maybe he can play somewhere else. Um, but yeah, everywhere else, we're getting ideas of who we like, who we don't, but ultimately, a lot of this team just isn't good enough. Hiratha has been dropped for this one, um, so we'll see a new face in right field. Uh, and speaking of new faces in right field, let's check these starting lineups. And this is it, and you may notice a few a few uh, changes in the lineup if, and also the batting order. So Sato leads us off in center field. It is uh, Hosokawa batting second at second. Kondo moves up the order to bat third. He's a designated hitter. It is Kiyomiya, uh, the cleanup man, batting uh, at first base. It is uh, Kuyakami at left field batting five. I think he's a change. Uh, Yamazuki, or Yamazaki, sorry, in right field now. He's batting six. It is uh, Hector Leon, the shortstop, batting seven. It is Hayashi moving down the order, the third baseman, batting eight. Mikamuri, Mikamuru, uh, the catcher, bats nine. It is Arahara getting the mound for us today. He's one of our better starters. We're up against uh, Fukutani, and that's a great name to say. And um, ERA of 570 this season, a whip of 161. A positive war and uh, ERA plus of just 73. So you do wonder if this game is, it's just maybe there for us. So it's the Ham Fighters versus the Golden Eagles. It is Sato to lead it off. Um, we do not have a good record as you can see there. What's the season split here? Uh, season is 8-5 in favor of them. So, you know, we have beaten them. Um... Yeah, and we've, we've got one of our better starters going, I'm assuming against not one of their strongest, so you just never know, you just never know. Sato looks to lay down a bunt and misses. Well, that's a good start. One and one's the count, come on Sato. He has lined it straight to second base, and that is uh, that is one away. And it is uh, Hosokawa coming in now, batting 249 this season. One thing I am considering as we look to sort of build towards next season, and that is a one-out single there for our second baseman. Wonderful. Oh, he third base. Anyway, he's on, <laughs> he's on base. That's the main thing. He's the second baseman. Kondo comes in now, batting 255 this season. Yeah, one thing I'm thinking of doing as we're looking for the steal, is he going to get there? Yes, he is. Um... Is potentially looking to go small ball. Now, I know that's very popular in, in sort of the Asian leagues, particularly Japan. We do have a lot of pacey players, and I'm wondering uh, if that's maybe the way to go. It's two away for Kiyomiya, who's batting 253. Can he drive in this run for us? One and one's the count. No, he grounds out the shortstop, and that'll do it for the first. Um, we do have a, an excellent reputation manager of the, of the minor league team. So I'm wondering if we look to promote him up to up to the manager of the of the senior team here, and that is popped up to start things off for them, and then look to you know and then sort of build a team around his preferred style of small ball. Uh, Moggy comes in the bat now, batting 220 for them. Uh, one and one's the count, and that should be an easy play at first. Oh, I did seem to say a big big apology for the issues with the sound yesterday. Um, yeah, that was basically me stuffing up in editing, making a rookie error. Um, what I do is I, I put like a little filter through the sound to make sure that uh, any hum of the sort of the, the, the laptop fan or anything is uh, is cut away. But in the base in this particular game, Football Manager isn't a problem because uh, I don't have crowd noise on. But in in, in baseball here, it, that that filter messes up the sound of the crowd. And basically, what I forgot to do was just move the the, the game sound file down a level. Uh, and that's why it was just a stupid, I, how I didn't pick it up when I was editing, I will never know. Um, but yeah, big, big apologies for that. And uh, if you're listening while you're not paying attention while you're editing, dumbass, move the sound file down. But uh, yeah, so a big, big apology for that. Hopefully it didn't impact your enjoyment of the episode too much. Uh, Hector Leon has got himself on base. Hayashi comes in now, two on, sorry, two out, one on. He's batting 239 this season, is Hayashi. Now he's dropped down the order. Hopefully we've motivated him by doing that. And is it going to drop in? No. It's uh, caught out there in left field. And that'll do it for the top of the second. Still scoreless. It is Okei coming in for them, batting 263. One and two is the count. And that is well hit. Sato's going back, but he's not going to get that one. And that is a leadoff home run for the Golden Eagles. 445 feet over center field. Uh, and just like that, we uh, we fall behind. 
which is, needless to say, quite disappointing. Uh, Uchida comes in now, batting 194 for them. It's not all bad news for next season. We do have, I think it's about 11 million um, that we have to spend on free agents and extensions. So we have, we do have money to spend. Uh, we saw last episode, we don't really have too many players leaving, leaving us on uh, for free agents that we necessarily would want to keep. Um, I think there was one or two maybes, if I remember correctly, wasn't there. But there was no one that's really, you know, oh, we have to make sure we keep them. Uh, as Tahaki gets uh, gets himself a hit there. Kobayashi comes in batting 197 with one out runner at first. One and two is the count. And there's a strikeout. Uh, yeah, so it's not... It's not we're, we're in a decent position financially to be able to strengthen for next season. Um, the difficult thing, obviously, is, is going to be able to see what Japanese players become available for us. We don't really have anybody that's tradable necessarily as uh, Mochi Mura. Well, Muri will come in to lead us off. 1 and 0 oh is the count on our catcher. Uh, and that is a leadoff single. Nicely done, son. Yeah, sort of the players that are obviously tradable are the likes of Kikuchi, who, needless to say, we want to keep. Um, I don't really see a sense in, in weakening us. As Sato seems determined to try and lay down a bunt today. He's got it that time. It gets the runner to second, one away. And with some of our better bats coming up now, Hosokawa got himself a hit last time. If we can do the same thing this time, we might tie this thing up. But that is a ground ball to shortstop. And that is going to be two away. Still with the runner at second. And what can Kondo do? He is 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing. Come on, Kondo. He has popped it up. And that'll do it for the third. We've got three hits in three innings. But uh, we haven't really got close to scoring a run as of yet. Uh, yeah, but yeah. So a lot of it's going to depend on what Japanese players become available for us for next season. Full count on their leadoff man. And that is a strikeout. Go on, Arihara. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's not obviously just in the Japanese leagues. Potentially out of America, we might find um, some Japanese players becoming free agents as well. Um, we obviously are limited in the number of foreign players that we can sign. There's a single there, and it's Moggy coming into bat. He's 0 for 1 today. 3 and 0 is the count. Don't like where this is headed. That's 2 on and 1 out. And Arihara has dug himself a little bit of a hole here. Um, our foreign players are decent without being spectacular that is popped up into left center it's caught out there by our left fielder Yamakazi is it Yamakami sorry um so that's two away I mean Tyler Benninghoff I like him but he's obviously expendable Matt Clark who's in right now is expendable uh we have the two Jose obviously depends how he comes back from his injury we also have Martinez now I do wonder if, uh, if we really want two of our four foreign players being in our bullpen. Uh, that seems a little bit of a waste to me. Kia Mia comes in to lead us off and strikes out. He does not like YouTube, does he? He hits home runs for fun in the games in between. You get him on YouTube, doesn't look like he knows what a bat is. Kamakao, Kamiyami sorry, comes in the bat. He is 0 for 1 today. He ideally is someone we'd like to play in at second base next season defensively. Uh, but he smashed that down the right field line. That's going to be a double. For, Kama, for Kawakami, sorry. And with one out, do we have a chance to tie this game up here? Yamaka, Yamazaki, sorry, comes in now. He's 0 for 1 today. Come on, mate. We're looking to steal third. And he gets there comfortably in the end. He is rapid as well. Which is, again, another guy which I think maybe small ball is the way forward for us next season. It's a full count. Runners at third. And he strikes out. Oh, then that's two away now. And it's Hector Leon, who did get himself a hit last time up. Two and two's the count. And Hector Leon, run, Hector. He's not going to get there. And that ends the fourth. And again, we've got a hit each innings. That's the closest we've come to scoring a man at third. But we're still 1-0 down. And Arihara comes up to face Yoshida, who is 0 for 1 today. 1 and 1's the count. That is deep. Sato's going back. It's over his head. Hopefully just a double. But with uh, no one out, that is a difficult place to be right now. Uh, you would imagine they'd be looking for a bunt here with Ta uh, Takagi. He is one for one today. One and two's the count. It'd be a big striker if we can get it. We can't. It's back up the middle. And now can Sato keep that runner at third? He gets it in. Is it going to be in time? It is not. Is it out? Is it out? No, it's not. And it's an RBI single. And to make matters worse, the runner's gone to second there as well. We're 2-0 down. 
Kobayashi comes in. He's 0 for 1. First pitch swing from him. That is grounded down the third baseline. That's going to be 3 nothing. And this game is now just starting to get away from us. An RBI double. Still no one out. And Arihara, it might be time to say sayonara. Um, no, he stays in. It's Murabanyashi, who is 0 for 1 today. I'm glad I missed that name the first time around. 2 and 0 is the count. That is playable by Sato. The runner should have to stay at second as well. That is one away. And that is obviously a, a start anyway. Uh, Tanaka comes in. He's 0 for 1. The designated hitter. 0 and 1 is the count. That is hit into right field. And can we keep the runner at third on this occasion? Yes, we can. Runners at the corners with one out though. Arihara to continue. Kurikara, their leadoff man, comes in. He's 1 for 2 today. 1 and 2 is the count. That would have been a nice strikeout. But it pop fly in the infield is just as good. Two out. Runners go back to where they came from. And this is a huge, huge at-bat in the game now. It's Moggy who is 0 for 1. We need this out. We cannot afford any more runs. That is fielded by, uh, by uh, Hector Leon. Out, got out at second there. And we are 3-0 down after 4. And it is Hayashi to lead us off. And he is 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing from our third baseman. Hayashi grounds at the second. And yeah, I mean, you can see hitting is just, it's the issue for us. It really, really is. The catcher comes in. He's one for one today. Um, I do think, and the catcher's got another, he got another hit. Well done, son. He's having a really good day at the plate. Let's hope that we can not waste this hit this time as Sato comes in. He's 0 for 1. Two and two's the count. Sato gets it down the third baseline. Now, I don't think it's going to score the catcher, but we should have runners at second and third with just one out. This is a... Now, this is a big opportunity, isn't it? Well done to Sato with the double. And let's see if Hosokawa now, who's one for two, can drive in some runs. One and two. Don't strike out, mate. Oh, at least swing the bat if you're going to get out. What an idiot. That's two away. And now it's up to Kondo bit like last innings or last time up to try and get a run here for us. Full count. He walks to load the bases. And it is that man, whose name I can't say, the home run hitting first baseman with two out loaded bases. What an at-bat this is. Oh, don't strike out. Oh, he didn't strike out. It's a grand slam. There it is. That's more like it, mate. Kia Mia. Kiyoma, yeah, he's got a grand slam. It's 4-3 to the ham fighters, and that is more like it. Takes the 0-2 pitch and deposits it into right field. Wonderful stuff. Kwayakami comes in now. He's one for two. Finally, we've seen him hit a home run on YouTube. He does it, honestly. I mean, you can see how many home runs he's hit. He does it all the time when, uh, when we're not recording. But... Finally, he's done it when we are recording. It's 4-3, just like that. And Arihara now to continue to uh, Almonte, who is 0-2 today. 3 and one's the count. And what we don't want to do is get them straight back into this game. And he walks the leadoff man. Arihara to Okei now. He is, uh, he's 1-2 today. He, oh, he did hit a home run already today. We don't want another one of those. He lays down a bunt this time. It looks a good one, actually. Third base comes in. And is able to make a play. Good play by Hayashi there. That is one away. But the runner does go to second. That is the tying run at second. Uh, Yoshida comes up. He's one for two today. Come on, Arihara. First pitch swing. That is a ground ball. That'll be two out. The runner will go to third. And let's just make sure we get this man at the plate now. And that is Takagi, who is two for two today. He's had his hits, mate. Sitting down. Sitting down. There it is. Massive. Absolutely massive. We end the fifth in front. Four, three. And are we going to get ourselves a win here? It is Yamazaki to lead us off. He's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 1 is the count. Yamazaki, he has popped it up and that'll be 1 away. So yeah, I mean, getting back to as Leon coming in now, who is uh, 1 for 2 today. If uh, if we're going to look to play, sort of using the, the my uh, philosophy right now of looking to play small ball next season. With a hitting coach, are we then better to have a contact a coach that focuses on contact, a, a coach that focuses on patience to try and get walks and sort of on base, because you want to get runners on base, my understanding of small ball. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any sort of insight into that, whether we, w what sort of hitting coach we would want, um, 
pitching coach, I'm assuming, doesn't matter too much because small ball, I mean, when you're pitching, the, the, the idea is just to get them out. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Uh, I'm assuming anyway, from, with my limited knowledge, that a, that you know a small that the tactic of, of or any tactic is basically when you are batting, not so much when you're pitching. Um, so yeah, I, I just what sort of hitting coach should we be on the look? Should I be on the lookout for uh, Tanaka comes in there, two out, no one on, one and two's the count, and Arihara sits him down wonderfully well, and that'll do it for the six. We're still four three up. It is a new pitcher, Nishi Hino, coming in. He is uh, ERA of over five, just a smidgen. And it's our catcher, who's two for two today. Owen oh, two's the count. Channel your inner first baseman, mate, and put this over a fence for us. It's all right. You've had two hits. You're uh, probably exhausted. It brings up Sato, who is one for two today. A full count on him. Come on, mate. Get yourself on base. Sato does draw the walk. That looked very, very close to Excuse me, to uh, to a strike there, but he's on first, and he's a stealing threat as well. Hosokawa comes in now. He is 0 for 1 today. No, he got a hit, didn't he? Must be what Anyway, I can't read. He's got himself another hit here. Is Sato going to get the third? No, he stays at second. One out, runners at first and second. Anything but a double play here, please, Kondo. He's 0 for 2 today. He's due. Kondo, he gets a hit. That's a good hit as well. Is that going to score Sato? It is. He is going to get there, I think. He does get there. He does. All right. Sato's in pain, and we have to take him out of the ball game. So that he's fragile as well. So that's not great. But he goes out in style, having scored us the run. And Kiyomiya comes in now. Of course, grand slam hitting last time. Two and two's the count this time. Two on, one out. Come on, mate. He has... Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again. Oh, he's done it again. This time it's only three runs, but we'll take that. 411 feet over right field. And I told you he was good. He is an all-star, and he's showing it now. It's another four-run innings. It's 8-3 to the Ham Fighters. And why can't we do this more often, boys? It's another pitching change. Hara comes in to face Kwayakami. He is one for three today. One out, no one on. One and O oh is the count. He has popped it up, and that should be playable. Center field should have that. He does, and that is one away. Um, yeah, I mean, I can definitely see. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. If it should be a patience or a uh, or a contact batting coach, but I can definitely see. Um, you know, we just get we get base runners on and just let our first baseman clear fences uh, as we stretch with a nice five run lead here. I could see that being potentially successful for us. Now we've got a pitching change ourselves. Takahashi comes on. One of our long relievers, left hand up. Uh, he's one of the. He's, he's decent enough, but um, you know most of our team isn't the strongest to be honest. But a decent start there from uh, Arihara, I would say. Three in. Was he gone? Three runs, six innings, three runs. That's not the worst, is it? Moggy comes in now, one away. He's 0 for two today. One and two is the count. That is grounded to Hector Leon. Should be a simple play at first. It is, and that is two away. And it brings up Almonte now, who is 0 for 2 today. 3 and 0 is the count, though. I suspect a two-out walk. There it is. And that is a man on. And it is Okayi coming up now. He is 1 for 2 today with a home run. What we don't want is a second home run from him. That is ripped into left field. That is going to be nothing more than a single. The runner stays at second. And it's Uchida now. And this is getting a little bit dangerous with two out, two on. Let's just end this, mate. Full count. Massive pitch. He walks him to load the bases. Now, this is a massive, massive at bat. It's Takagi, who is two for three of all the men to be batting. It's Takahashi. Oh, and one's the count. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. It should be playable. It should be playable. Over to first. And there it is. All right, we've dodged a bullet there. We keep our five-run lead. We keep them off the score sheet in the seventh, and it's Leon to lead us off in the eighth, and he is one for three today. Three and one's the count. Get yourself on base, mate. He has got it with a hit, not with a walk, but that's just as good. It's a single into right field, and that is one on, no one out for Hayashi, who is 0 for three. One and one. Hayashi. He gets it through the right field as well. Now, can Leon get himself over to third? He can. 
We have runners at the corners with no one out. It's the catcher coming up who's two for three. Two and two's the count and he strike. He's got his hips at the wrong time. That is one away. It brings up uh, Mura. Now he of course has come in to play in place of um, Sato who was injured. He's gone to left field. Yamazaki, no, Kamikawi who from left field has gone over to center field. Um, so let's see what Mura can do. Batting 219 this season. One and two is the count, and he has grounded at the third, and that could be a double play. Oh, you muppet. What an idiot. What an idiot. And that ends the top of the eighth. Go back to the bench, you moron. All right. Takahashi to continue. He didn't fill us with confidence. Well, certainly not me anyway. Last innings. Got out of loaded bases. This time it's a leadoff single up the middle, is it? Yes, it is. And that is the leadoff man aboard. Takahashi to continue to Mio Bashiashi. He is 0 for 3. 2 and 2 is the count. That is well hit. It is caught in right field and the runner will stay at first. Good catch out there by Yamazaki. And that is a change in pitcher again now for Takayashi. Takayashu even. Now, yeah, this guy is another one of our long relievers. I haven't seen him before to be honest, but let's see how he does. I mean, I guess in the end... Uh, Takahashi did okay, didn't he? He didn't give up any runs. He, he tried to, but he didn't. Uh, is that a pop fly there for two away? Now, if we can get through this man, we can. It should be Ishikawa coming back out. Well, actually, we probably won't, we don't need a closer right now, do we? So, we're not in a bad position here at all. It's me and yet... Oh, Jesus. Me and Ishii coming into pitch for them. His ERA is two, just under three, 295 this season. Let's see what we can do with him. It is uh, Hosokawa to lead us off. Hosokawa grounds at the shortstop, and that will be one away. All right, in comes Kondo now. He's one for three today. Can he get himself on base? Two and two's the count. No, he strikes out at what looked to be a high pitch. And it brings up the hero of the game. Seven RBIs, two home runs. Kiyo Mia. Two out, no one on, two and two's the count, and this time he strikes out. That does it for the ninth. We go to the bottom of the innings. We are 8-3 up, and we are looking to shut out a win here. It is Takayashi, Takayashu even, to continue. Moggy, who is 0 for 3. 1 and 0's the count. That is into center field. Mura is there. No, it's not Mura. It's uh, Kama Kau Ka Kawakami is out there. He makes the play. Almonte comes in. He's 0 for 2. He did get a walk last time up. First time swing. That is a ground ball. Hector Leon has it over to first, mate. That's two away. They're down to their final out. And I think we are about to witness a very nice ham fighters victory indeed. It is Okei coming in. He's 2 for 3. 1 and 2's the count. And that should do it. Over to first, mate. And the ham fighters win. Go on, boys. That's a good one as well. So Katoro Kiyomiya, what a game that was from him, setting records, uh, tied the league record with his 7 RBIs as well, uh, but you can see there he's a good home run hitter, he is I think going to have to be a big part of anything we do going forward, he's up for arbitration this, uh, this coming off season, so that could be awkward. Uh, depending on what he wants. We haven't been had to go through arbitration in Japan to know exactly what is and what isn't a huge salary. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's only 25, so there is, there's an argument to say that he should, he's, he's probably someone we should build the team around. Um, he's done really well in the past there, leading the league in home runs and RBIs as well. So uh, yeah, he is, uh, I mean, he's, he's looking a star and he proved it there, didn't he? That was a big, big win though. Have a quick look at the standings. It's not enough to say this. <laughs> we're going to finish bottom of the division, chances are here. But leading the league in home runs, second in RBIs, he's having a really, really good year. As long as he's around, we're going to be a chance. But guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit, uh, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time. Um, I don't want to draw this season out too long just because there is really nothing particularly to play for so where are we here we are early july uh trade deadline is the 31st uh so what if we come back then the day after trade deadline day so august 1st for the final game of this series against this mob uh the softbank hawks um that sounds like a good place to me to come back uh and then we'll probably do maybe maybe we end the season next next uh next few episodes here we might just yeah well depending how it's going but we might just try and skip ahead here i think to get ready for for next season but until then guys i've been ozzy thank you so much for watching take care